Hey everyone, Alex here with MailerLite. Today, we're diving into MailerLite's Shopify integration, a game changer for your email marketing. Before we dive into the features, we need to get it set up. Start in your Shopify admin panel, navigate to Settings, and then click Apps and Sales Channels. From there, click the Shopify App Store button. Search for MailerLite Email Automation, and make sure the app was developed by MailerLite before installing. Click Install. You'll be taken to a page that says Install App. Hit the Install button. You'll then be taken to a page asking you to connect and authorize your account. Hit Connect, and then in the window that pops up, hit Authorize. Now that you're connected, you'll need to select which group within MailerLite to add the Shopify subscribers to. You can also create a new group and add new subscribers there. Remember, you can only send MailerLite newsletters to customers who agree to receive emails from you. Otherwise, it's considered spam. At MailerLite, we generally recommend to select the Yes option here and only sync customers who agree to receive marketing. And here's where it gets really exciting. It tracks sales directly linked to your campaigns. To see the results, head over to the Campaigns page. Click Sent. Notice that we've already sent a test campaign using the Shopify product blocks. Click View Report, and then click on the e-commerce tab to see not just the number of orders, but also total revenue and conversion rates. This revenue only tracks sales from your emails, not all Shopify transactions. Put another way, you're able to see the direct impact of your email marketing right here. Next, you can add product blocks to your newsletter. In your campaign editor, navigate to the e-commerce section in the left sidebar and drag a product block onto your campaign design. Click on it, hit Add Products from Your Store, and a pop-up will let you pick your products to showcase. Insert them, and boom, you've got a newsletter that sells itself. Want to tweak the details? Click the pencil icon in the sidebar to adjust product names, URLs, prices, and even CTA buttons. That brings us to e-commerce automation triggers and templates. Under the Automation tab on the left sidebar, click New Automation. You can find the templates in the dropdown and select e-commerce. To see all of the triggers, we'll hop into the Automation Builder. Here, you can see all four of our automation triggers, one of the most famous being the Abandoned Cart Trigger, which activates when a shopper gives their email but leaves before purchasing, purchases any product, which will activate when a customer purchases any product in your store, purchases specific product, which activates when a shopper purchases a specific product in your store, and Purchase from Category, which activates when a shopper purchases a product from within a specific category. These are all available in your workflow editor and are perfect for engaging customers at critical moments. Just remember, these only work for customers who've opted into your emails. Consent is key. And that's it! Feel free to dive in, experiment, and watch your email marketing transform into a revenue-generating powerhouse. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more of the best tips in email marketing.